Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is a very brief description of one of my hour-long lectures in song. It's a good day for singing a song, and it's a good day for moving along. Playing, talking, and singing about some great personality or significant aspect of American popular song. This time, the fifth of seven profiled eras in American history, presented year by year, almanac style. Music, 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 1946 to 1956. Post-war prosperity and the rise of rock. After living through depression and world war for 15 years, Americans were more than ready for peace and prosperity. In these baby boom years, America may very well have reached her peak, and the music most definitely reflects very good times. Despite the tensions of the Cold War and the very real bloodshed in Korea, Americans were building solid family lives and careers that were steadily making us the most powerful nation on earth. Both Hollywood and Broadway were thriving. Mass communication exploded through the presence of television and LP records in virtually every home. What American family, even out in New Mexico and Idaho, didn't have My Fair Lady or Damn Yankees in its collection? Young Americans for the first time had the luxury of time and money on their hands, and the commercial music industry aimed squarely at that new market, giving rise to the phenomenon of rock and roll. Elvis became the new Crosby Sinatra of his generation, and Sinatra himself was soaring to his greatest heights. He had helped keeping great popular music in the forefront alongside rock with the help of Perry Como, Dinah Shore, Doris Day, Vic Damone, Peggy Lee, Judy Garland, Lena Horne, Tony Bennett, Ella Fitzgerald. It was the last era where classic American popular music would continue to evolve before the rise of rock. Nothing lasts forever, but through music we can recall the past and in a very real sense, re-experience the best of the past. To engage me for this or any other lecture and song, please visit fredmillermusic.com from where you can contact me and review the entire series of more than 70 different lectures and song. Thanks for watching and look forward to hearing from you.